So this here, guys, our second problem is about combining financial statements. And my objective here is to present to you a step-by-step -step process on how to do that exactly. Because students tend to get confused on what to do next. And the best way for you not to get confused in that is simply having a step-by-step -step guide. And your requirements actually are my suggestions on what to do first and what to do next. So requirements numbers 1 to 4 are the steps that you can use. First, of course, is goodwill computation. Pinakaunang step to in most of the problems of business combination. I-compute mo kaagad ang goodwill. Pangalawa, if there are journal entries that are necessary, record them first. Journal entries to record the acquisition in the books of Kimi. Kimi is our acquirer here, by the way. Prepare the statement of financial position of Kimi after acquisition. Okay, so compute goodwill, prepare journal entries, and then prepare the statement of financial position after recording the entries. So here, January 1, Olive Granger Company's net assets except cash was acquired by Kimi for 2,800,000 cash. So, Granger, Granger, okay. Itong lahat ng assets mo, except for cash, inacquire ni Kimi. Yan po. Then, of course, ang sabi dito is net assets. That means liabilities as well were assumed. Paying cash of 2,800,000. So, 2,800,000 is our acquisition cost. Tapos, Kimi also paid direct cost of acquisition. Okay, direct cost of acquisition, ano to? This is business combination expense. That is not a component of acquisition cost, nor is it related to your FINA. Immediately after the acquisition, Granger was dissolved. Condensed financial statements are down here. Okay, let's work with this. Per independent appraiser's report, Granger's assets have a fair market value of 1,200,000 for current assets. Okay. 1350 for plant and equipment and 400 for patents. So itong tatlong to, they are not equal to their fair values kasi po ang fair value binigay sa baba. Granger's liabilities are properly valued. Okay, so at least we got that out of the way. Compute goodwill. First of all, 2,800 that would be our acquisition cost. So, i-memory plus ko lang to so that we can compare it with FINA later. And since bigay na yung fair values ng assets and liabilities, what we can do to compute FINA right now is just to get those fair values. We will not be using these values kasi we are on the side of Kimi and our concern is the fair values. Ang gagamitin natin po is the 1,200,000. Ano to? That is for current assets, 1,200,000. Your plant and equipment will be recognized by Kimi at 1350. So add tayo 1350. And then your patent is 400, not 300. Your patent is 400. Add tayo ng 400,000. Then sabe, yung liabilities down ni Granger, they are properly valued. So liabilities, we are good to use 400,000. Minus lang tayo ng 400,000. Our computation led us to an amount of 2,550,000 for your FINA. Now, all we have to do is deduct that from your acquisition cost, 2,800,000, for a positive figure of 250,000. Your solution should look somewhat like this. Ito po. Acquisition cost, 2,800,000. Computation of FINA. And then, your goodwill, 250,000 as presented earlier. So how do we go about with our next requirement? For the next requirement, you are simply required to prepare the journal entries to record the acquisition. Okay, ang magiging entry natin dito is under Kimi Corporation, ano, kasi Kimi yung required, the acquirer. Of course, there is a credit to cash, 2,800,000, kasi binili mo ang assets and liabilities. And you will debit all the assets you acquired. Wala si cash kasi po, it was, it was specifically excluded. And then of course, credit natin ng liabilities kasi we assumed that liability. But 
we will not be using these values. We will be using the values that are presented down here. So if I would name them one by one, there is a credit to cash of 2800 There is a debit for current assets for 1200 Another for plant and equipment, 1350 And patents will be debited as well for 400000 And don't forget that our acquisition resulted to a goodwill of 250000 So you need to debit that as well, goodwill to 50000 Credit ka ng liabilities, that is for 400000 And... Meron pang binayaran si Kimi on related to the acquisition. Paid direct cost of acquisition. This is a debit to business combination expense or retained earnings and credit to cash of 150,000. All in all your entries should look like this. So ito po yung entries natin. As I mentioned earlier one by one. You can just pause the video if you want to examine more of this. Pero we will now be moving on to the next requirement. Preparation of the Statement of Financial Position of Kimi. Okay, ang gagamitin po natin is all of these amounts. Take note that these amounts are on the date of acquisition, that January 1, 2020. Pero the thing is, you will use these amounts as beginning balance and then you will post all the transactions that happened in here. There is a credit to cash, so kailangan ma minus. There is also another credit na 150, kailangan ma minus. And there are additions here and there for liabilities and assets. And everything must be recorded before I can properly prepare Kimi's financial statement. Your step by step process should look like this Step 1 Use this format. Uh, your working paper should look like this. Na post natin lahat ng balances ni Kimi before acquisition. And I provided two columns there for debits and credits to acquisition-related items. Ito yung acquisition cost mo, ito yung fee na mo, ito yung business combination expense. Dapat ma-post natin lahat dyan. So, in short, you will only have to record all of these entries. Itong entries na to, kailangan ma-post natin into the debits and credits to be recorded in Kimi's books. So, step two. After posting all of the debits and credits, yung entries natin, your solution will look like this. So ito na po. There is a total credit of 2950 to cash. My debit sa current asset na 12. This is the fair value of Granger's current assets. Plant and equipment, 1350. Debit as well. Patents, 400,000. Goodwill, 250,000. Liabilities credited for 400,000. And there is a debit to retained earnings of 150000 What is this? You guessed right, that is your business combination expense. So the next step is common sense na lang. Ang gagawin natin dito is we use the beginning balance and then plus the debits for assets minus credits. For liabilities, of course, plus credits minus debits. You will get the combined balances as follows. So here is how Kimi's Combined balance sheet will look like after the business combination, after affecting all the transactions that transpired. So yan po, you can pause the video anytime if you want to examine closely the figures. But for now, we will be moving on to our last requirement. So we are required to prepare the journal entries on the books of Granger. Granger, the acquiry, has foregone all of his assets except cash and all of the liabilities in exchange for some cash of 2,800,000. So in the books of Granger, the entry would look like this. Granger now will have received cash of 2,800,000, but giving up all of the assets, itong tatlong to, book values niya yan, and we also have liabilities, debit, that is because na transfer na to to Kimi. But there is a credit of retained earnings, 300,000, what's that? Actually, itong retained earnings credit na to, that is gain or loss on sale of assets. Ito yung total net effect ng sale na ginawa ni Granger. How do we compute that? Simple po. Ano ang na-receive niya? Minus the book value of the net assets na ginive up niya. Okay? Also, nasabi that Granger was dissolved, right? So, ang gagawin lang ni Granger is i-credit niya lahat ng cash niya 
the 2 million 800 plus the pre-existing cash nag total ng 3 million 300 and then all the equity items will be debited so that's it for our combination of financial statements if you have more questions i would happily create a video for it so that we can address it as well just post them down in the comment section so that i can read them right away for now i'll see you again guys Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye!